what's up go getters it's strictly brie back with another video and if you don't know i'm all about that business motivation self-care to progress but it's a special video because guess what y'all it's a trucker vlog come on all right come on all right And we finna hook up to our loaded trailer. We're actually picking it up at the terminal. So that's cool. So yeah. We finna go to, where are you finna go? We finna go somewhere in Minnesota. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what city. All I know is I got the load and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to roll. We got our A service. Got our good old handy dandy A service. They had to fix some brakes on the rear axle. So it took a little longer than normal. I went in about like 8 39 o'clock. And they didn't finish till like one. But y'all, I had their lunch. It was so good. I've only had lunch at the Cartersville terminal. So that was cool. That was cool. Oh. Let's check this baby out, okay? Oh, almost fail. Oh, we locked in, baby. We locked and loaded. We're not ready to roll yet. Got to deal with the landing gear. It's funny because when I got done with my A service, I came out here to look for an empty trailer. Pins are locked in. And this was the first one I looked at. I was like, oh. I was like, oh dang, it's loaded. But yeah, no seal or nothing, but it's loaded. It's loaded. But I found me an empty and I backed into it. But I'm telling y'all, don't ever, cause I've done this before. Don't ever, you can back into the trailer that's empty, but don't hook up to it and get out and fix your landing gear. Hold on, I gotta go on the other side. I'm pretty sure the paperwork is inside, but we'll see. Yes, inside. Trailer 19227. Y'all don't let me forget. 19227. Put my gloves up. Oh, where my shirt at? Where my shirt down? Okay. But okay, you guys, so rookie tip. I'm going to give y'all a good tip. Don't hook up to an empty trailer until you are assigned a load. You can back into it to claim it so nobody else can take it. But don't get out and connect your airlines and push up the landing gear. Don't do all that. Woo, it's windy out here. Don't do all that until you're assigned the load because I've done this before. So that's why I'm telling y'all not to do it. Because if I would have hooked up to that empty, attached the airlines, lifted up the landing gear, and now I'm assigned the load, and the load I'm picking up is at the same terminal. So you just did all that work for nothing. 
Now, I'm not complaining or nothing. I'm just letting y'all know to save y'all time and effort, okay? So don't hook up. You can back into it, but don't hook up until you're assigned a load. That's Ricky Tip. You're welcome. But we're gonna find this paperwork. I think they keep it in the driver's lounge. All right. This is it. That was quick. That was quick. But yeah, that's all I needed was the paperwork. And then we finna head on out. This is gonna be a detailed trucker vlog. The life of a trucker. Now, they asked me, hey, it was like, Bree, you think you can get it there on time? I'm like, you know me, baby. You ain't got to ask me. Right? You ain't got to ask Bree Bree. I'm going to get there. On time, if not early. If not, I'll tell you. But I'm going to make it on time. The appointment's not till 3.30 in the afternoon. I got this whole load, a whole 24 hours. And it's only like... A 10 hour maybe an 11 hour trip so a lot of y'all can get it there in one day okay i'm so sorry y'all camera cut out but a lot of y'all can probably get it down there in one day but guess what if it's an appointment time it's an appointment time i'm gonna still get there early at least two hours early Cause I know some places like Walmart, they won't take you if you over two hours early. So I don't try to get nowhere unless I'm two hours early. But well, we finna go ahead and do our macro. And you, look you guys, my camera is fixed. Hopefully it doesn't fall again. We in there baby we in there baby y'all that lunch was good them pork chops was good they had coke no sprite but that's because we up north they don't do all that okay i'm gonna throw my trash away when i leave okay so i'm gonna do my macro we still on duty I'm gonna stop it when I get to 15 minutes because I'm doing pre trip and dropping hook, and I got like two macros to send one that I arrived at shipper and my loaded at shipper. So, yeah. Oh, what y'all thought y'all wasn't gonna see Bree Bree? No, y'all gonna see Bree Bree. Y'all gonna see Bree Bree. What we got? I'm gonna go ahead and read my messages real quick. Route suggestion. Now this is glass again. If you still, if y'all watched my Troy, Ohio video, that was glass, and your girl did good. But now we're going a little further out, so we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna drive safely. We're not gonna hit we no. Have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. We're not gonna hit no bumps, hard brake. Okay. So let's see. 488-4033. Arrived at Shipper. That just makes sense. Ugh. Alright you guys, so we are locked and loaded now. We are in there. Where are my other papers? Oh, okay. We had to pick up some new permits and insurance and stuff, so that's what I got. I'm gonna put that up tonight. I got some chips for on the road because you really got nothing to eat in this truck, snack wise. All I got is this is leftover, like that's not gonna do nothing. All right, so I'm gonna make me something to drink. Yeah, I'm gonna make me something to drink and we should be good to go after that, but I don't have a cup to make something to drink in. Uh, how far is that? Hey Garmin. 
Travel Center of America, Whitestown, Indiana. Let's see if it works. It worked, it worked, it worked. Yeah. Let's see how far. If it's close, if it's less than two hours, no more than three, I won't make a drink. It's two and a half. Don't play with it. We'll just get some and drink at the TA. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out, you guys. We did our little pre-plan. We know where to go. It's all in the GPS. No, Bri is not finna do this drive without the GPS. I don't know nothing about Minnesota. I don't know nothing about no Minnesota. So we're gonna use our handy dandy Garmin. Okay. And I'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Man, it 
it was bumpy, 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 bro. It was crazy. I was like, uh-uh. Y'all want me to stay in the right lane, because all trucks got to stay in the right lane. But then it's bumpy as heck over here. It's so bumpy. Oversized low. Zoom in it, baby. Well, let me speed up. Everybody else speeding up? Ooh, let's go. Y'all ran up without telling me. So, yeah, that's how Indiana was going. Bumpy, 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 bro. And I got glass, so we gotta be careful. I'm trying to be careful, but it's like all this. What's up, you guys? So your girl had to stop at a rest area because she was pushing for time, okay? I don't know how this happened. Well, I do know how it happened. But you just got to be prepared for the unprepared stuff, I guess. I don't know. There's a saying out there. I forgot how it go. It's like prepare for the unexpected or something. Yeah. Don't know how time got the best of Bree Bree because Bree Bree was trying to get further. But as far as Bree could go. So I'll see you guys in the morning. We did have to stop at a rest area in Illinois. And we pushing the time. So we gonna get to there on time. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, go-getters. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's snowing. And I'm only in Illinois. So we gotta make sure we pay attention to our messages that come through because your girl cannot drive during a shutdown i know right now parts of north dakota no parts of south dakota is shut down i'm gonna put my little hoodie on because it's getting in my hair so i know parts of south dakota is shut down but i think we'll make it i'm literally seven hours away did the best i could with the few resources i created myself it's my fault won't happen again, I can tell you that. But yeah. We're gonna do our little pre-trip and then get to rolling. Peace. So we gotta check up in here. <laughs> Come on. so far we're gonna keep it like that Okay, you guys, so I was driving down the road and one of my sensors kept going off talking about collision alert collision alert and I was just gonna ignore it but once it said break like if I would have kept going, it would have slammed on the brakes for me. So I had to pull over immediately and get the snow off of my sensor, which is what I'm doing right now in this video. That way it could stop giving me all these collision alerts and following distance alerts and brake alerts. Because I have had it happen to me where I was driving and it slammed on the brakes twice for me. So every time that brake light come on, that brake alert come on, I pull over immediately and get the snow off of the sensor. So, we finna get rolling soon. Peace. What's up, you guys? I know I haven't really talked to you guys that much this ride. But we are almost in Minnesota. It did snow a little bit, but I got out of it. And I got out of it before they started shutting down stuff. They shut down, like, somewhere on 74 or 72. I don't know.
Ja. Hm? Scope scenery out. Let's see what they got. Y'all, this is crazy. This was crazy. Everything was good until I got five or ten minutes left, man. It was crazy. So we're going to talk about it. But right now, we got to go check in. We got here 24 minutes. We got here 24 minutes early. Yeah, don't play with her. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Sorry. This was funny. I got to tell y'all in a second. All right. Hey. Paperwork. I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm starving. Oh, Let's get the license just in case because I don't have time for that. And let's go. Ooh, it's cold out here. I haven't been outside in a minute. At least seven hours. Really, eight. But well, not eight, seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, gotta be careful. Ice, not about to get boobery. Not about to get me a freaking bad problem. All right. Hello. Hey. Well, you can't get my picture now. I won't. No, I'm good looking, but I don't want my picture taken. Yeah. Okay, whatever you say. How are you doing today? Good. What about you? Yeah, right. Yours? Uh-uh. No. No. I, got, I think I got about four hours left. Not bad. You go ahead and All right. You have a good one. All right, y'all, we gonna see what this looks like before we go over there. Because when I looked on Google Maps, it looked pretty easy. But now that I'm here, they got stuff that ain't on the Google Maps. People in my way. So let's see. Ooh, so cold. My pants falling down. All right, he said door six. So I'm gonna come this way, like that, and straight line back. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. Can I not do door seven? Door six got ice on it. We'll make it work. So I already opened up my trailer door. Y'all, it's so cold out here. It's so cold. Oh, I can't see nothing. Girl is in door six, bro. They said you're not going anywhere. Locked in. That's the real definition of locked in.
I didn't even know he was coming next to me. Let me get out of the way. But yeah, this was a pretty easy back. I'm finna eat, get something to eat and plan the next trip. I'll let y'all know how long we got. Okay, y'all, so real quick, cause I gotta go. So, oh, I need to do my um, macro anyway. Look at this, empty that final ready for dispatch. So real quick, I'ma tell y'all what happened. So it's a four way stop and it's by a school. I passed the school. There's a bunch of cars at the four way stop. I'm trying to go left, right? So I get wide so I can make that left turn. But a car that was in front of me, he pulls off to where I'm trying to go, and I thought he was picking somebody up. He's freaking talking to somebody, so I can't make that turn with him just talking to somebody right there. So I'm just sitting there waiting. Cars are going beside me, like they're going past me, they're going past me, and I'm just like, bruh, I gotta freaking get to this final on time. So eventually, after they keep talking, I honk my air horn, I'm like, hey, I'm trying to go right there. And then the car drives off and then I can make my turn. But y'all, that was crazy. I was like, not you didn't just freaking, I mean, heck of cars were going past me. I'm like, well, what y'all want me to do? I'm blocking up the whole turning lane to go right. Cause I'm trying to go left and I got to turn wide. So it's like, what the heck? Yeah, we need to um, wait here until I get my next load. Cause we got to see where the fuel stop is at. Cause I'm not trying to miss it. So ready for dispatch. All right. I'm not gonna make it to the next level, so y'all, y'all gonna see me. Um, yeah, this is all out of order. I'll see y'all later. But yeah, it was crazy. But we still cool. Nice drive. Oh, I need to hurry up and get out of the way. Whatever. I'll see y'all later. Peace, 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 peace. Oh my gosh, y'all. They unloaded me so quick. It took them like 23 minutes. I don't even have enough time to finish my break so I can get some more hours. But went ahead and swept out the trailer. I like sweeping out the trailer. Oh, I'm at my final. That way when I get to my next load, I already know it's good to go. And the next place we're going to, they really care about their trailer being clean. So I make sure I get a good job. Uh-uh, all that snow coming up in here. So they took 23 minutes and I don't have to pull up to shut my doors. I can just shut them right here. It's just dust. So I'll see you guys in the next trucker vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because you're going to love where we're going next. Okay. So I'll see y'all later. Peace.